We are very happy to have a visit by the Norwegian Crown Prince, the goodwill ambassador for UNDP, because it allows us to put a focus on MDGs for the country. It allows us to put a focus on development in Timor-Leste. And this fits perfectly into Timor-Leste's own agenda, uh, saying goodbye to conflict and welcome to development. Uh, I have been lucky to work with the United Nations for more than 10 years. One of the things I really like when I go on country visits, uh, and I've been doing this for a while now, uh, is that you really see that the UN works. Uh, and on the country level, uh, there are so many important initiatives that, that's been done. The Recycling Project is basically a, a youth employment project, part of the social business project that is supported by UNDP. And it's about uh, creating job opportunities for the youth in Timor-Leste uh, and also to help in terms of protecting the environment, finding a solution to the issue of plastic bottles that are being imported every month. The uh, Dili port receives around 8 million bottles a month and they go into the streets eventually. But now we're trying to create some livelihoods around it and we're trying to collect it. This project, you know, showing us that we could do something, you know, benefit for, for the countries. And it's contributing the country's de development. So, so far we had managed to collect more than 4 million bottles. The students has managed to uh, wash them, crush them, and uh, some of them are now at the stages of negotiation for selling them. <laughs> It's an example of uh, how uh, innovation uh, and smart solutions uh, can drive development. Uh, this is a social business, business where you can see that uh, one person's garbage is another person's uh, uh, business. Uh, so it's a, it's a great model. I, I hope they'll able, be able to scale it. This water uh, progress project is part of the, the overall program of uh, UNDP supporting the government of Timor-Leste to, uh, to, to uh, prioritize and construct a rural, small-scale rural infrastructure project to benefit people at the grassroots level, at the village level. It's mostly the women that, that fetch the water, right? Exactly, but, but also the, the men also. The, the water benefits the, woman, the men as well. Of course. But the, the women are the, the main how, beneficiaries. How much time did it take to get the water before uh, the source was here? Well, the, the, they have to collect the water from the river. It's a bit far from here, about three, three kilometers. It will take around 30 to one hour, uh, 30 minutes to one hour to collect the water. Uh, including the kids when they want to go to school, they have to go to the river, take him back. But after having the water, they they uh, get benefit of uh, not wasting time to collect water, and yeah. then that helps their basic needs. Well, the UN is playing an important uh, role in um, supporting the government and the local communities in their development. Timor-Leste has gone through a tremendous uh, transition from conflict to development and UDP has been very happy to be part of, of that transition. Uh, in the past, UDP worked very much with uh, governance and state building in Timor-Leste uh, to overcome the conflict, build the state institutions and our program now is focusing uh, more across the field of uh, poverty, uh, disaster risk reduction environment, but also continuing to work 
on, on governance? Well, when the UN works together well with the, the local communities uh, and with the government, uh, that's when we see the best results. Um, and that's what they're uh, very working very hard on uh, here in Timor-Leste. And you can really see that it, it makes an impact on um, uh, people's individuals day-to-day -day life it, it, they get a better life quality a lot of the of the project are, are, are very sort of basic um, uh, access to water uh, a bit better uh, production facilities for salt and the, the traditional way of doing it so can you tell me a little bit about the salt production? Uh, the farmers are harvesting salt uh, using the different water salinity and concentrating it by the soil so there is no energy uh, apart from the solar energy that is uh, involved. The old production method was um, uh, very heavy labor. Uh, they needed to cut down a lot of wood to fire up, uh, to boil the water uh, where they could um, uh, get the, the salt. Um, and um, they didn't produce all that much. Uh, a lot of work and not so much product. Uh, now with this new system uh, where they use the sun to, to dry the salt, uh, it um, produces a lot more salt. Uh, it's uh, better for their health because they don't have to stand in the fumes of, of the fire uh, all day. And um, uh, yeah, so it's better in, in every way. Most of these farmers in this location are women. There is 21 uh, uh, females who are leading the households of an average of nine people. And I think it will not have an, uh, an uh, economic impact on the woman but only, but also on the children that she's abrazing. How many here have uh, heard of the, the Millennium Development Goals? It's a very young population uh, here in uh, Timor-Leste and um, uh, young people obviously uh, will uh, drive uh, the agenda um, both <laughs> hopefully now and in the future. It's important to involve them in decision processes. Timor-Leste has gone into a new phase. Uh, the UN political and peacekeeping mission has left, but it is important to remember that there is a lot more work to be done here, and Timor-Leste needs the continued cooperation of the international community. And we think the visit will help draw the attention to that. Well, it's been really interesting to be in uh, Timor-Leste. They've uh, gone uh, from uh, conflict to peace. Uh, they're making progress on uh, health, on education, on uh, gender equality, uh, but there's still obviously uh, a lot to, uh, to do um, and a lot to be done. Uh, but uh, also it's been fantastic to see the UN's team on the ground with um, all the initiatives uh, and the hard work that they're uh, putting in and it's really making a difference.